Hello and welcome. It's week 10 of the Just a Thought book group and that means we've only got this week and next week left. I can't believe it. This book has been so great to read together in the book group and I hope you've enjoyed these videos and anything else you might have been seeing from me online through this time. So um, this week for the book group we're reading chapters 24 to 27 and which is all about um, freedom of the mind and in fact freedom with the mind. So Amy is very clear in pointing to the fact we don't need to get rid of these stories, these narratives of the mind in order to be okay. She's very clear about the, um, yeah, the freedom of living with the mind just as it is. And that's totally possible because when you see that the stories and, and the narratives aren't telling you anything about you or them or the world, then they stop making sense to pay so much attention to. And I guess to highlight that as an example today, I wanted to share a bit from chapter seven, where, not chapter seven, that's way, way ages ago, chapter 27, when Amy's talking about how um, these narratives of the mind are like fictionalized, sensationalized um, stories, where the mind is the director and the writer and the producer and the whole thing. And I wanted to share a really simple but really profound example of how that shows up in life. So if you think about a time when you've had a completely different experience of something to another person who was there as well. So it could be anything. It could be from childhood where you're comparing your experiences of childhood. It could be in work where you're experiencing experiences of a meet, comparing experiences of a meeting or it could be on a training course, or it could be something with a friend where you both have completely different experiences. It could be anything. But any of those moments where we probably brush it off and just go, well, yeah, that's their perception. Yeah, we've all got different perceptions and we kind of just accept it and carry on. But when you actually stop and notice really closely, notice how there's an underlying assumption that yes that's perception but that's their perception but mine is right it's like yeah, yeah yeah of course we've all got different perceptions but mine's the right one that's what the mind says to us it says yes of course my sibling had a different experience of childhood but mine was the right one mine was the accurate one mine is the correct one it's so subtle it's not evident as you're going about day to day but that's really, if ever we are caught in a situation, if ever we're caught up believing one of these mind narratives, really that's what's behind the belief of it. It's the idea that I'm right, that this mind narrative is right, that this version of events is right. Because that mind loves to pretend it's got a sense of certainty and control. And one way to do that is to keep saying, I'm right. I know what's going on here. I've totally got it nailed. It, that's, that's its way of, of creating this false sense of, of certainty, which isn't actually there at all, but it tries to pretend that it is. It tries to make it look like, yeah, 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 I've got it all sorted. I know exactly what's happened in all of my life since day one, and my version of events is the right version of events. So I'd really encourage you to notice next time you're with somebody, and that's happening, notice that there may well be openness to the fact they have a different perception or a different experience, but notice the very subtle feeling behind it that says, but mine is right. And seeing that, and seeing how that's not true, like how on earth could you know that yours, out of this seven, eight billion people, is the right perception of something? How could you ever know that? How could anybody ever know that? And when you see that and see that there is no right perception, there are just seven, eight billion perspectives, then the whole game is up. So I'd love to know what you hear in this. And um, I will see you next week for the last week of the book group. If you'd like um, more on this book, if you've started reading it or you're thinking about reading it, then the resources are available in Patreon to members in there all the time. So you can join at any point as a member 
read this book. You can search in there and you'll get all the resources that have come with the Just a Thought book group. And, um, and then you can get all the extra juiciness of, um, of thought provocation that's sat around that within that group. So yeah, if that sounds good, details are in the comments. And as I say, yeah, let me know what you've heard in this video and see you next week.